Thanks for being here. Thank you for That's having me. That's an absolutely me. beautiful dress. I wanted to bring some sparkles. Today. It's very. It, it seems like a, a very glamorous form of camouflage almost. Oh There's yeah. So much going on there. <laughs> That's very true. Now that character you're playing there. What is her name in the movie? Her name is Michelle. And she looks like she could use some camouflage and would like to get away from John. From John Goodman. Goodman. At that I know. Super spooky. He's so scary. And I grew up loving John Goodman. I was like, why are you scaring me? Why are you playing? <laughs> it's just I his job. You. It's just his job. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. In real life. <laughs> no, you also grew up in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. A little bit. I, I was I was born there and lived there until I was five. Okay, that's that's some. Um, I, that's I claim some. it. I that's claim some. It. Yeah. And then you moved to Utah. Yes. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. here's why I ask is because in the movie there, yeah. you're like in an underground shelter, hiding. He says from something terrible outside, mm -hmm. and you don't know what. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are preppers. You know what a prepper is? I absolutely do. Okay, yeah. I'm not surprised. Being from Utah, that you yes. know what preppers are. <laughs> yes. Do you have Very any preppers familiar. in the family? Do you have you any know, of that? It's a subject that comes up a lot in my family, strangely. Really? Um, my, hey, maybe we should make some beef jerky this weekend. I, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, my sister and my brother in law were like raising chickens for a while because they were like, well, if the thing happens, you know, then we should have some chickens. I don't know how that. Right. Some yeah. attack chickens to protect yeah. you from whatever yeah, it is. Exa exactly. Do they ever say what the thing is? Like, if the thing happens, what's the thing? The thing in this movie? Or no, the, the no. thing. Oh, the, your, your like, you know, sister I can't talk about that. Um, I, I don't think anyone knows, but they feel like something's coming. You, you got to be there's careful. This, there's yeah. this feeling in the air now that yeah. like something is There is happen. a little bit. People are yeah. a little bit nervous right now. Yeah. Now, the movie itself is this, does, now, it's called 10 Cloverfield Lane, and because of the association with Mr. Abrams, mm -hmm. uh, is it? Is it a sequel to Cloverfield? It's not a sequel to Cloverfield, but I would say that it, it has a spiritual connection, which JJ has kind of talked about and I think is, is a very apt way of putting it. But, you know, that's pretty much all I can tell you. That's all you can say. There's no, <laughs> yes. nothing else. What if I change you in an secret. underground bunker and didn't let you get out for a while? Not getting Did you tell a word, anything more? Not a word out of me. No, you are, you're also kind of known as, uh, if you, I don't know if you like this moniker, but you're called like a, a modern. Scream queen. A little bit. Because yeah. you do a lot of horror. Yeah, I've done a few. Do you like that moniker? I think it's great. I think it's funny. I don't know who started calling me that. I don't really know. It's on my Wikipedia page, so that's what it has makes to be it true. Fact. Has to be true if it's on your Wikipedia yeah, page. Yeah, yeah. So, but but it's funny because it, every time somebody calls me that, they say known for her roles in such horror films as, and the fr first one they mention is The Ring 2, which I'm in for a second, and it's just the back of my head. So if that's what it takes to be a scream queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got you get all the screen Particularly, you know? particularly scary back yeah. of your head. Yeah. You might have Voldemort's face back there. That's I'm not true. sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've done a lot of kind of odd projects. Yeah. Are you or like do you seek them out, or does the oddness find you? You know, I'm not quite sure. I've always been kind of drawn to the weird, to the mm -hmm. unsettling since I was very little. I think part of it is growing up in Utah and having things be so clean and nice and normal. And big open skies, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. really between the anvil of the sky and the rock yes. of the earth yes. out there. Yes, <laughs> very true. Yeah, it makes yeah. you feel small makes sometimes. Makes you feel small. Mm -hmm. Makes you wonder what the weird underbelly of the world kind of looks like. So I think. I yeah, because it seems very clean out there, but there's a whole lot of meth. Oh, that is true. <laughs> there is. There's so yeah. much meth in yeah. Utah. You know a lot about Utah. That's well, I did. I did a couple of stories for the Daily Show back in way back in the right. day, and I went, did, went to a jail one day just to talk about yeah. uh, this incarceration story. And I said, "What are these guys in jail for?" And they said, "Oh, everybody's in here for meth." Always meth. And I said, "Really? A lot yeah. of meth and a lot of Mormon meth?" It's and they true. said, "Oh yeah, check the news tonight. There, I guarantee you, there will be somebody, <laughs> a reporter." Standing in front of a flaming garage. It's so true. And sure enough, that night no, there was. I, yeah, I grew up. It was always like there'd be some explosion in my neighborhood, and it'd be mm -hmm. like, you know, that's a meth lab that just blew up. It's mm -hmm. just like, as like mm -hmm. a ten-year-old, you know, that's what's happening. Yeah. Uh, also, you're you're uh, joining the CBS uh, family yeah. this summer because yes. you're doing a show called Brain, Brain Dead. Dead. Another weird one. Mm. What's this one about? Um, aliens who are eating the brains of people in Washington D.C. <laughs> yeah. So it's a historical drama. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so Congratulations. much for having me. Congratulations. I cannot wait to see the movie. I can't thank wait to find you. out what he means by spiritually related to Cloverfield. Mm -hmm. I just hope it scares me. It will. Oh, Mary it. Elizabeth Winstead, everybody. Thank and you. Cloverfield Lane is in theaters on March 11th. We'll be right back.